My name is Roman Harkowski. In this short demo, I'll show you IBM Support Assistant and specifically the part of IBM Support Assistant that deals with garbage collection and memory visualization. What I have here is a SUSE Linux and I have WebSeer installed along with the IBM Support Assistant. What you can see is a workbench. Now where do you get the Support Assistant? Support Assistant is a free tool that any WebSphere customer can use for free. They can download it, use it in development, and use it in production to troubleshoot, analyze their issues, and improve product performance. So once you open the support assistant, you see the workbench, and you can launch activities. Um, you can collect and send data to IBM. You can go into help, or you can analyze problems. So in terms of the problem analysis, there are several tools provided. I'll show you those tools in different web recordings. Today I'll talk about the garbage collection and memory visualizer tool. So when I double click on this tool it asks me which file do I want to use. So the thing is the garbage collection and memory visualizer it uses log files and that log file will be parsed and it will be converted uh, into internal representation and there is a statistical engine that runs as part of this tool that gives you advice. Now, where do I get the log file? Well, to get the log file, you would open the WebSeer console first, and you have to generate that log file. So before you use the garbage collection memory visualizer, which is an offline tool, I'll talk about the online tools as well, which is a health center, which can monitor live running JVM. Uh, for this tool, for garbage collection memory visualizer, I need to generate the log file first and I can click on my server and I will go and enable the garbage collection verbose garbage collection so I go into my process definition and I go click on my let me make it a little bit smaller on my Java virtual machine and I can click and enable verbose garbage collection then I'll save my properties I've already done that in advance, so I've, I've run uh, WebSeer under for about 20 minutes with different garbage collection policies, and that's what we will be using, um, and there is no need for us to rerun those again. So let's go back to the tool. So let's click Browse. We'll be, we're able to browse remotely or locally. So if we have remote machines, we can get the log files from those remote machines. In my case, it's local machine. I don't need to go to another server. Uh, let me get to my lab files for garbage collection. And as you can see, the actual log files, they come from native underscore standard error dot log file. So I renamed one with generation and concurrent. Uh, garbage collection and with optimized throughput. So first let's open this one, generational concurrent. So open this one and it shows us some very basic statistics and I can click on different templates for analysis. Uh, so first thing that you notice is that it shows me, uh, first of all, I can see the actual data as it comes from the verbose garbage collection. But it's difficult to analyze this data. Um, any JVM gar uh, garbage collection that's verbose will generate lots and lots and lots of data and it's difficult to make sense of it when it's just in a big giant log file. How do you know what's right and what's not right? So it, it takes skill or if you don't have the skill quite yet, then you can use a smart tool, and that's exactly what we provide. Uh, it can parse that data, it gives you a nice summary, but that's not the best part. It's relatively easy to get this uh, base summary. Uh, it can show you the table data, what happened for garbage collection counts, and you can click on different uh, templates to analyze it. So for instance, the large object area and the small object area, uh, it can show you that data. Uh, or it can show you the line plot where you could see the heap size and the heap size after collection, the used heap. But the best part is not the graphics. And I can zoom in on these graphics and I can uh, analyze different details and so forth. Uh, I can zoom out and I can look at these things, but that's not the best part. The best part that I like is the report. 
and this report it shows me certain data that I need to know about the results of the multiple garbage collection cycles now what I can do as well I can click file and I can open multiple log files so what I can do I can run WebSphere with multiple different garbage collection policies and now I can use those different garbage collection policies and compare them against each other and decide which one is better now it gets even better so let me open this one optimize throughput garbage collection policy so when I did that it shows me tuning recommendations so I don't really have to be an expert or if I'm just trying to become an expert it looks at my data and it shows me the garbage collection analysis and it shows me for generational concurrent it tells me what's going on with my memory what goes on with my garbage collection cycles and it, in this case for instance it says that my garbage collection seems to be compacting excessively and that's an expensive operation and it says that on average 69 percent of each pause was spent compacting the heap and it gives me recommendations it says maybe you want to set the maximum and minimum to be the same size uh, or maybe you want to remove the compact garbage collection from your command line properties um, to avoid that compaction which again is an expensive operation it also tells me that there were 2009 objects that were queued for finalization and you don't really want to use the finalized uh, in your objects because that's expensive when the garbage collector has to wait for all of those things to happen another thing it found that I had forced garbage collection so in my case only two times out of 602 I had forced garbage collection triggered by the system.gc that's something to be avoided as well that's not a good practice and then it tells me other data and it also makes me suggestions on what needs to be done it also highlights some of the positive things so for instance it says that the mean occupancy in the nursery was eight uh, percent which is a good thing and it also tells me that the mean occupancy in the tenured area was 56 percent which is close to optimal now it gives me recommendations for my optimized throughput as well and it again I can go through and it tells me what went wrong and for instance it found one object that was four gigabyte in size and it says you may want to look into that object why is it four gigabyte is it supposed to be that way or not uh, again it noticed the forced garbage collection uh, and it noticed that one of the pauses for garbage collection was almost seven seconds so that was not a good thing and it also tells me side-by-side -side comparison of different things the initial heap sizes and uh, system information during those runs I can open more files and I can open um, for instance this other file that I haven't renamed at all and it looks into that file and now it compares side-by-side -side all of those other different properties so I can look at the heap fragmentation and it tells me data about the free heap before and after I can look at the graphs or I can switch to the line plot um, and I can go and add as you can see different data to that heap so that I can see that mapped for instance fragmentation instance let me click on that so you could see the fragmentation instance being added uh, or I can add compaction time to be plotted against uh, that uh, I can also show different axes I can say how do I want this to be in minutes or maybe garbage collection count so I switch my axes uh, in to different dimensions different metrics again I can do select and unselect multiple different things to be plotted again I can zoom in I can zoom out I can uh, see pause time being added to the graph and I can drill down into those specifics and see what's going on again I can see this as a structured data I can export and import stuff um, and I can do all kinds of interesting things 
and be a real investigator but again the best thing that that is offered is this automatic advice and analysis that is being done for me so you could see there's quite a bit of really good information here and I can do generational heap analysis with uh, analysis of the different areas of the heap and different elements of the garbage collection so there are all kinds of really interesting things um, I can look at object sizes for instance like requested object sizes uh, I can see those graphs and again the line plots and again I can add and remove things from this plot so this is very very useful and it's very educational so to summarize what is it that you can do was the IBM garbage collection and memory visualizer so you can see memory leaks and you can see where your memory was going if it was leaking you can do analysis of different garbage collection modes you can collect and compare multiple log files side by side uh, you can see the overhead of garbage collection how long it was taking and why it was taking so long you can get recommendations for optimal settings it generates that recommendation and recommends optimum garbage collection policy for your application you can do fine-tuning of the Java heap and again it can recommend settings for Java heap depending on your application um, it, it does have this statistical uh, analytical engine and you could argue that some of these things you can get from Oracle Java Mission Control and you can see the garbage collection cycles and memory utilization in Oracle Java Mission Control but unlike IBM tool you do not get to compare multiple different runs from the past offline analysis of multiple different log files side by side and you don't get any tuning recommendations all you get is just a whole bunch of numbers and you have to figure out what those numbers mean and how to make your application run better uh, so I think IBM tool provides much more usable user-friendly and more powerful way to optimize your application performance thank you